here since I was two years old, to see the passion and to see the way that football team came out and played as a group was unbelievable. And I showed my guys Paul Rhodes' speech. That was a part of our edit yesterday when we were going through the Western Carolina team and their plays. And, and I showed them Paul Rhodes and what it means to be a team and how those guys have all bought in and they're one. And that's what we need to become. And uh, we made strides in that area tonight uh, in the second half. I think that we came out timid. Uh, you know, I'm not sure we were, we were believing. I think that we lost some confidence after that Drake game. And uh, we just didn't, didn't have that spark uh, that we needed coming out, uh, you know, to get the crowd behind us like we needed it. Uh, in the second half, we went in there, and I told them, I said, guys, if we get stops, if we don't take the ball out of the net every time down the floor, we're going to flow, and we're going to get into our offense, and we're going to get things rolling. And we did. That's exactly what happened. The bottom line is they shoot 48% in the first half, 38 in the second, and that's when we're at our best. Okay, we got the rebounds, uh, beat them 34 to 16. If you look at that, 25 assists on 32 field goals. We shoot 77% in the second half. And that's the team that we can be. And, and that's what our guys have to start believing. I'll say this, this, this team beat Presbyterian at Presbyterian. Presbyterian goes into Cincinnati last night and beats them. This, this won a cupcake. This, this, is a, this is a solid team, um, you know, going on the road to an in-state opponent, showed last year against Northern Iowa, you know, uh, showed this year against Drake. Those are tough, tough games. Uh, you know, at Virginia last year, you throw an ACC opponent, and uh, this year the Big East team uh, in the tournament with uh, uh, Providence. Uh, and then Rice, Rice is very good this year as well. A lot of uh, experts picked that to beat the top of their league and win 20 games. Um, you know, and then the road game in Michigan will be you know, as hard as any would play this year. So it, it's, it's a good schedule for us, I think. Um, you know, and, and I was glad to see us come out in the second half of response. It was careless. You know, I don't think a lot of those were forced. You know, look at them, go back and watch the tape tonight. But, you know, a lot of it was just being careless with the ball and uh, not having the proper spacing and walking the ball up the floor. And, you know, we're, we're not a great offensive team when we're doing that. That's why we got to get, uh, uh, get stops and, and, uh, and get out transition. Shot 50% in the first half, which you know, it's not acceptable for us. And, you know, we, we just made a conscious effort to really focus on our guy and help uh, get steals. You know, we were stopping them and getting rebounds, and that led to our transition, which led to open shots. And, you know, we made we did a great job making an extra pass. You know, we just knocking down shots. We, uh, we definitely made some dumb passes. We, we were just kind of forcing it and not really playing our offense. Uh, but, you know, we just made it, you know, like I said, when we're out and running the transition, we, we can get a lot better shots. And, you know, we, you know, we were getting it in the post, and, Royce was drawing double teams, and he was doing a great job of kicking it out, and we just kept making the extra pass, and you know it's less turnovers, and we were getting wide open shots. You know, uh, like I said, we did a great job of moving the ball, and you know when we just all hitting shots, you know it's hard, it's tough to guard. We just did a great job of making the extra pass, and you know, you know teammates are doing a great job of getting everybody the ball and getting open shots, and you know I was fortunate enough just to, to be hitting, and you know when you make a shot like that in the flow of the offense and go on a big run, you know it's a great feeling. You know, it's not really something that you like think about like while you're playing. So I mean, you know, I'm sure for him, he's just kind of taking it a shot at a time. And you know, when you got a guy like him, you know, he's in the flow and you know, he's feeling it. I mean, like it's. I mean, they don't happen that often, but it's you know, like it's not really something as a player you're not like thinking about. Man, it'd be hard to go five for five. Like you just kind of take each shot individually and try to make it. So I mean, when he gets his feet set and he's got you know and he's open, I mean, he's gonna make a lot of them.